Hey y'all, Morgan Freeman here. I know we're all hunkered down during these trying times trying to limit our uh, travel and stuff, but I always believe that during trying times, nothing beats delicious food and soulful music with family and friends. So how about joining me uh, on a virtual trip to the Mississippi Delta, home of America's blues, and some of the best fried catfish you'll ever find. In fact, why don't you watch with me as our favorite blues artists enjoy some authentic cooking at Hooker Grocery and Eatery, and then treat us to some real Delta blues at Ground Zero Blues Club. So sit back and enjoy a tasty episode of Deep Fried Blues. Everybody. My name is Tamil and I'm the booking manager of Ground Zero Blues Club. And today, everybody knows this guy, I'm with Kingfish. And we're gonna find out what Kingfish favorite food is, y'all. So come on, let's go. Hey, Kingfish. Hey, man, how you doing? Good, man, how are you? Good to see you, good to see you. Ready to make some mac and cheese? You already know, man, for hey. sure. Come on. Hey there, my name is Johnny Cass. Welcome to another episode of Deep Fried Blues. Um, we're here at Hooker Grocer where I'm here with uh, Kingfish, and we're gonna yes, cook some mac and cheese today. Most definitely, most definitely, yeah, man. Something uh, childhood favorite, something that I grew up on for sure. Yeah. yeah. And who, who did most of the cooking in your house? Uh, pretty much my mom and my dad. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but my, but, uh, but I always thought my mom made the best mac and cheese, so for sure. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do it with a twist today. Um, we've got a couple different cheeses. We've got uh, some Parmesan. We've got smoked Gouda, and we've got some shredded cheddar there. Today, we're gonna put some mayonnaise in it, some Duke's mayonnaise, and we're gonna put some eggs and. We've got some breadcrumbs here from the bread that we bake here at Hooker Grocer every day. Um, so I've got the cream over, over here, it's just about to the boil. Um, I'm gonna bring it over here without spilling it. And then you and me are gonna start adding the cheese. Ooh. So first we'll just stick some of this in. I like to actually take the cream off the heat because sometimes if you've got that cream on the stove, all that cheese gets stuck to the bottom. So you just wanna gently melt it and let's crack some eggs. You want to whisk those for me? Sure, man, no problem. So how you do this in a circular motion? Just... Yeah, yeah, yep. Cool. All right, cool. just break it up a little bit. Okay, so now that cheese is almost melted. Stick some more Parmesan. That's one of my favorites, the old yeah. Italian cheese. So your, your mom used to make the mac yeah, and cheese yeah. in the house? Uh, they used to bake it, and sometimes I think they would add like a little sugar in it too, so yeah. Sure. Sugar in the mac and cheese, that's Yeah, that's put sugar in everything. <laughs> wow. Well, we're gonna put mayonnaise in ours instead, yeah, so. Yeah. Why the hell not? That's different. That's different. Let's stick this macaroni in there. What type of noodles are those? They're just the um, elbows, right. elbow pasta. Now it's gonna get interesting. Let's stick this egg in here. So, kind of like the way you do spaghetti carbonara. You ever had carbonara? Uh, carbonara? I've seen it, I've seen it before. And stir that through. So, Kingfish, one of the favorite things about your guitar playing for me is um, the way that when you are playing the blues, you can just slip out and go into jazz. Oh, and just take you, it out, you know. What, what are your influences for, for that kind of style? Because I mean, that, that shit ain't man, easy. I, I like to listen to like a lot of the uh, players who was like in between that blues and jazz around like, you know, like the T-Bone Walkers and the Charlie Christens and, yeah. and you know, um, early B.B. King, like 60s B.B. King. Yep. You know, he was a, he was a T-Bone Walker influence. So yeah, man, like I, I like a lot of those bridge between blues and jazz players. Yep. All right, let's stick this in. All right, stick it back in here. And then the breadcrumbs. And we're gonna put the breadcrumbs on top. Cool, cool. All right. There we go. And then we're gonna stick that in the oven at about 350. Stick it right in there. Until it's golden brown and it's bubbling at the side, then you know it's ready. Man, your new song. Thank it you, is amazing. What, what did you write that song about? Well, um, um, it was about my mother. Uh, she passed away back in December. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to write a song about my greatest champion because she was my manager before anybody else. And yeah. she was like my biggest supporter. So I just wanted to have a song and, and would definitely write many more, but I want to have a song 
that featured her. And I want to thank Sean McConnell and Ashley Ray for like giving me the song and letting us revise it and everything for it. So yeah, it was yeah. pretty, pretty cool. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's a little bit different to what you've done exactly, so far. Yeah. And where your voice sits in that is just, it's magical. It oh, really I appreciate that, man. That means a lot for sure. Thank you. All right, Kingfish. Ooh, Let's go check it out. She's bubbling and sizzling and popping. Here we go. There we go. You can see that egg in it too. Around the edges, it's crisping up really nice. Yeah. Alright, this is super hot, so try not to touch the skillet. Cool. That looks amazing. Alright, Kingfish, let's dig in. Cool, man. You go so, first. you know what, Kingfish, I want to start by saying, you know, most people, they don't know this about you, but you actually started singing uh, a little bit later in your career, because when I first saw you, you were... Just playing bass. Just playing bass. Right. And you were 10 years ten years old, I believe, when you first hit Ground Zero stage. Right, yes, ma'am. And when you were walking through, everybody was like whispering, oh, um, he's supposed to be the next B.B. King. He's going to be a blues prodigy and all that. So, yeah, they say that for everybody, don't Yeah. They? <laughs> well, no, actually, at the time, no, they did not. They no, did. they did not. They, they'll say, oh, they're talented or something like that. But when you compare somebody to B.B. King. Yes, ma'am. That's huge. Because everybody know he's a legend. If, right. Even if you don't know the blues, you know who B.B. King is. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I remember the first time I saw you on stage, I'm like, this little bit of kid, I think the guitar was longer than you. Yes, man. And so I everybody, bass at the time. Yeah, yeah everybody was, was was in awe of this, of this little kid, 10 years old. You started playing, and I was like, wow, this kid is 10 years old. Like, yes, you man. know? Ten. And so, um, so you did bass guitar, you did lead guitar. I blinked and you did the drums. I always say I blinked because you weren't on drums right. long. Right, a long. Yeah, but, <laughs> but I blinked and you were on the drums. And then you had uh, bands who did who were bands for 20, 30 years asking you to be their bass player. And then you got your own band. Mm -hmm. Then you started doing your own tours. Yeah, now we're here. <laughs> now, now we're here, man. Now we're here. Uh, won five BMAs. Yes, man. Nominated for a Grammy. Yes, man. All before the age of 21. <laughs> really Kingfish. Man, I thought it was gonna come later. <laughs> no, man. I mean, but it can't. To me, I think it came right on time because you have the energy to do it. You bring that youthfulness to the blues, and Thank you, you and you're so humble all at the same time. I always tell people you're one of the most humble musicians I've ever met because if anybody sat down and had a conversation with you, they wouldn't know that you had all this under your belt before you even turned 21. Yes, man. Yeah. Thank you. Was the reason why you kind of waited? Uh, to kind of showcase your voice, were you were you scared or were you unsure about your voice or? Oh, 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 oh uh, I was definitely both. Well, see, what happened was um, the Blues Museum. When I was with them at the time, we had recorded our first record over here at um, uh, Gary Vincent Studio. I that. And um, the, the guys um, who I was under, uh, Daddy Rich and Bill Hollerman Perry. Mm -hmm. I think Mr. Richard had got the, the idea. He was like, "Man, I heard you sing." And I was like, I can do a little bit. So they put me on every day I had a blues and that mm -hmm. was the song that I was singing with the band. Mm -hmm. And then it, it turned into me from singing just that to other stuff. Then I'll be like the one that sung the most when we play somewhere. So, yeah. yeah. So they brought me out of my shell most definitely. Yeah. This uh this pandemic was a blessing in disguise. Right. Because you know I told you being us the kingfish, anything, anything I need you to do, I'm gonna have you go ahead and do it. So yeah, we had like four shows left, and they wiped us out, and uh, we've been we've been home ever since. So the best thing to do is, like I said earlier, you know, just utilize this time, do more live streams, and get with other people and write on, yeah. on sessions and stuff like that. So just uh, trying to uh, try to make a dollar out of fifteen cents. Oh, I say. heard that. <laughs> yeah. So let me now. I know a couple things you've been working on. So would you like to tell people what you've been working on? Are you allowed to say oh, or yeah. um, most okay? De most definitely. I just uh, I just did some stuff with. Uh, Boosie Collins, which will be coming out, I think like around October. I, I did like a couple of songs on his on his new record, so I got that. Uh, I, I'm doing some more writing. Actually, actually, the my my second record, we we're supposed to be starting on that one mid beginning of next year. Now, Kingfish, you know I'm I'm be looking for my copy now. Oh, you know I, I, I got bet you. I have, I got look, you. I'm gonna call you a Rick. Like, where's my CD? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, man. you know I'm gonna come at you like the mob. You are gonna be one of the first people to have. Please do so, cause I know we keep your CD on repeat all the time, and 
I'm just happy that you got a good team around you. Your Thank band you. is on point. Thank they you. compliment you well. And um, I'm, I'm, you know, I get in my feelings about you. Oh, it's I all just, good. I, every time, because I'm like, I literally watch you grow up on our stage. Well, you see, know, I, yeah. I, 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 really, I really appreciate y'all yeah. giving me an opportunity to let me come in, because, you know, some clubs could have just turned you away. Mm -hmm. But I really appreciate y'all for what y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all are... Uh, a, a, a huge part of my journey and still are, and I really yeah. appreciate you guys. Well, sure. Kingfish, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, you you gave some of these folks some exclusive exclusive uh, details as far as what you have going on. Right, right. Let's go ahead and finish this awesome mac and cheese that uh, Johnny prepared for us, and we're gonna head on over Ground Zero to listen to some good old fashioned blues. So I'll see y'all so in a minute. <laughs> No coffee for my breakfast No butter on my roll I ain't got a drop of milk For the corn flakes in my bowl Well, I'm all fresh out Said I'm all fresh out I had no loving since the day since the day you went away, well, I'm all fresh out. No jelly in the jar, no flour in the sack. I ain't got nothing cooking, baby. Please, won't you come back? Well, I'm all fresh out. Said I'm all fresh out I had no loving since the day Since the day you went away Well I'm all fresh out Drink up my last bottle A Johnny Walker Red Nobody in this house I but me and an empty bed Well, I'm all fresh out Said I'm all fresh out Ain't had no loving since the day I'm on fresh out. 
But I'm all fresh out Yeah, thank you, thank you so much, thank you, thank you. Tune this thing once again. This next song, after I get through tuning, I want you, uh, I'm gonna give you guys some instructions out there. No matter where you may be in front of the TV or the computer or whatever electronic device you may be watching this on, just want you to get in front of it and, uh, Want you to uh, clap for me. Clap to this beat right here for me. You're part of the song. Every day your sunshine. That comes to people to my blind Every day your sunshine That comes peeping through through my blind You brighten up my morning With joy and peace of mind I get up and head out Taking the brand new day I get up and head out Taking the brand new day You brighten up my morning In every special way Feel you in the warm breeze Blowing through the tall trees Sounds are all around me Skies with the stars I just wanna stop and stare So much tender love and care His fingerprints are everywhere just listen to your heart Just listen to your heart I can't wait till Sunday To see your face again I can't wait till Sunday To see your face again The light shines on forever, but the beauty never ends. Feel you in the warm breeze, blowing through the tall trees. Sounds are all around me, skies with the stars. I just wanna stop and stare So much tender love and care His fingerprints are everywhere Just listen to your heart Just listen to your heart Feel you in the warm breeze Blowing through the tall tree Signs are all around me Skies with the stars I just wanna stop and stare So much tender love and care His fingerprints are everywhere just listen to your heart And just listen to your heart And just listen to your heart And just listen to your heart
With that being said, I got a new one here I want to try out and hope you guys like it. You get up early in the morning, you stay up all night long. You drive a hundred miles just to play another song, that's what you do. Yeah, that's what you do. I said, ain't no shortcuts. That's what you do for the blue. You're living out of a suitcase. No time to wash your clothes. I love to stay, honey. But I gotta hit the road. That's what you do. Yeah, that's what you do. I say, yeah, that's what you do. That's what you do for the blue. Catch a flight, another rainy city, another lonely night. That's what you do. Yeah, that's what you do. I said, ain't no shortcuts. That's what you do for the blue. Late night hotel check-ins for an hour in the bed. Ain't no turning on all the pounding in my head. That's what you do. Yeah, that's what you do. I said, ain't no shortcuts. That's what you do for the blue. What you do for the blue Yeah, thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you.
Yeah, I was born at the turn of the century raft. Lucky to be born at all. I grew way down in Mississippi oh, when I heard Robert Johnson call. Well, I've seen a lot and I've done a lot. Just too young to lay down in that home. Well, I'm just trying to fly high and I die before I'm old. Breaking the rocks on the chain gang up until the sun went down. It's too many songs I've been rent and the dirt poured down to ground. Well, I've seen a lot and I've done a lot. Just too young to lay down in that home. Well, I'm just trying to fly high and I die before I'm old. For I'm I put lightning back in bottles. I poke a rattlesnake just for fun. Uh, people say I got an old soul, and I ain't nothing but 21. Well, I've seen a lot, and I don't a lot. Just too young to lay down in that home. Well, I'm just trying to fly high, and I die. I'm just trying to fly high and not die. Well, I'm just trying to fly high and not die. Before I'm old. Before I'm old. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope y'all had fun. This was a pleasure doing this again for you guys. Hope this show was the same or, or better <laughs> in a way. Thank you guys for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much. And uh, I think we should leave it out on a good one. So uh, like I said, if you're in front of your TV or whatever, or got your phone, I want you to get up and uh, check out to this one. This is a toe tapper so I hope you guys enjoy it thank you thank you thank you got two no first huh? <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay, yeah, do something like this. Catfish swimming in the a deep blue sea. I have on are you good looking women fishing out the mean, fishing out the mean, fishing out the mean, fishing out the mean. baby's house and I fell right down on her stand she said come on in come on in come on in her husband just not left her husband just not left her husband just not left Just for a day, we had it just for a day, we had it just for a day. That's the train, stole my baby away. That's the train, stole my baby away. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go. Got my shakers on. Baby, please don't go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.